sports. If it weren't for the pandemic, Chicago would have been the racing capital of the world today. COVID-19 forced the Chicago Marathon to cancel its annual race, but many runners are keeping the tradition on track in ways and places you possibly wouldn't expect. Here's CBS 2's Jeremy Ross. They found the pavement of Thorn Creek Trail. The relative silence broken by a handful rooting for these runners. Come on, guys, bring it in. Let's go. Pump those arms up that hill. You got it. You're loving it. Yeah. Including Sarah Sonier. They've been training really, really hard. Seven times around this path is about 26.2 miles, the measure of a marathon, or in this case, the virtual Chicago Marathon. Yes, you, you thought you'd be in downtown Chicago for this, didn't you? Yes, that was very disappointing to have that canceled. <laughs> this is what many hope to see Sunday. More than 45,000 participants from more than 100 countries, all 50 states, spanning elite runners to charity marathoners, an iconic race through dozens of Chicago's diverse neighborhoods in front of an estimated 1.7 million packing the streets. However, none of that can be safely done in the era of COVID-19. So across the world, or in this case, near Chicago Heights, runners are carrying on the tradition of the Chicago Marathon wherever they can, virtually through an app, providing the kind of spacing and safety a traditional marathon cannot. Thousands of people that are, are continuing to celebrate, uh, may it be in their neighborhood or in their community. Kerry Pinkowski, executive race director, says running a marathon is about perseverance and adaptation. And that's what runners along the lakeshore and beyond are doing this Sunday. He adds last year was the marathon's best year with associated charities raising more than $27.1 million. This year's funding will not keep pace, but there is optimism next year's will. I tell you will be bigger and better than ever. Also not keeping pace, the associated economic activity with the marathon. Last year, it is estimated to help bring in $428 million in spending at places like restaurants and hotels or even here on the lakeshore. But there are other economic efforts. All proceeds go to black and brown running groups in Chicago. This group and others are raising money virtually for charitable causes. It is not ideal and it is not the marathon we're used to. But we're still doing something and that something's better than nothing. Anything helps. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Last year, the marathon reported a record number of finishers. This year's virtual runners have until Thursday to submit their results. After that, we'll know how many participated remotely.